I figured out how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to point the camera off the table. I'm going to have to do this sideways. I'm leaning over it. But we have our M13 single pack. Let's go ahead and take a look what we've got. And then I will open up the uh, Fire and Lightning premium deck series that I won. I would have preferred it to be Graveborn, but I also wanted this one. Um, the reason is because is I am going to start building a cube at some point. Um, and it has a ton of red burn spells, which are kind of necessary if you want that archetype in cube, which I do. Uh, so first up, we have Silver Coat Lion, a solid 2-2 two, two for 2. Mog Funkies, which if you have... I mean, some people said this guy's insane, and some people say he's not. He's not as bad as I thought he was, um, but because it's a 3-3. Three, three, but otherwise, eh. An Unsummon, very, very, very good. Let's see if I can make the glare go away. Sever Servant of Nifrox, very powerful. Anything with Exalt is just good in this format. Mark of the Empire, I've seen it had play, but otherwise, nothing too great. Prey Upon is great, good removal in green. Craterize, destroy target land. Yeah, you should not be playing this in your sealed pool. We have an Essence Scatter, which is, you know, pretty good. Dragon Hatchling, which I've also, a lot of people played. Encrust, as I mentioned in my deck analysis, pretty good. I had three of these. Our first uncommon is Rain of Blades. I s had one, but I never played it, and it doesn't seem that good. We have a Roaring Primadox, a 4 4 for 4 that I don't like very much because you have to bounce a creature and. Nah. We also have a Cleaver Riot, which seems pretty good. I didn't see anyone play it, but it seems very good. And our rare is a Gilded Lotus. Not bad. There were a ton of Gilded Lotuses open. We have a soldier and a forest token. Uh, so, quick little story. I lost one round of my sealed event because in game one they cast the uh, five mana Hellkite, and then in the second game they cast uh, Sublime Archangel. Oh, so I have to deal with this. Uh, da, 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 no scissors. And I don't. This uh, my editing software for this is not good. So what we're gonna do is. Entertain yourself for two seconds. Do, do, do. Bam! We got scissors. We got scissors. We got somewhat of a decent battery life. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Some guy actually went up to me and offered me five packs for this, and I said, you know, this this seems like better than five packs of uh, M13. Because at least you know you're going to get value with this. And, you know, you get a ton of foils. Uh, and a die. So, we've got the Fire and Lightning pack. You pop it open from the top. Pull it out. Great box. Um, I'm going to make sure this all stays on camera. That's somewhat of the right thing. Okay. So, you can see we've got this pretty cool fire and lightning spin down kind of. We've got the deck, which I'll go over in a sec. And we've got the, uh, the, the pointing out, or not the pointing out, the, uh, the flashy, the flashy cards that they want to emphasize. Um, so, these are all with their new foiling thing that kind of really warps the cards. I bet you can see that a little bit. So you just need to be careful when you when you have them. Uh, got a lightning bolt, which is not reprinted, but it's always always good to have a lightning bolt. We've got a chain lightning, uh, fun little little bird spell. We've got a mug fanatic. Uh, the glare is pretty bad. Let's see if I can make it so it's a little bit better. We got the back of a magic card, which is a uh, pillage, destroy target artifact or land can't be regenerated. Fire blast, which is really really good. If you're mono red and cube, um, a ball lightning, six one trample haste. Wow, this glare is bad. Let's see if I tilt it like that. If it's any better, price of progress. Um, we've got a Jaya Ballard task mage, a grim lava mancer, and a jackal pup. And when we go and open up the rest of the deck, it's sixty cards. Um, all foil, so that's pretty cool. So you've got a little instruction booklet that I really don't care about right now. 
and we've got the rest of the cards, which has a lot of foil mountains. Let's see if I can get this open. Excellent. I am failing at doing this when I have the time constraint of my battery saying, no, no, you should hurry. And I'm like, but I want to go over this whole deck. Ugh, fine. I'll use the scissors that I ran off to get. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we've got a lot of foil mountains with some different arts. But they're all nice and shiny. I like this one. But we've got a ton of foil mountains, which is pretty cool. We've also got a dropped, but two foil teetering peaks. Kitu Encampment. A Barbarian Ring. And we've got Fireball. Classic. There was actually someone complaining at the pre-release saying, Oh, why can't Volcanic Geyser be Fireball? Sudden Impact. Hammer Bogodon. Flames of the Blood Hand. Deals 4 damage, can't be prevented. And prevents them from gaining life. Brobeat, so you can, you know, have people take damage or you draw three cards. Foil Re Reverberate, which someone actually opened in their M13 pack that they won. Thunderbolt, you know, the one that they printed in Avacyn Restored, but with, I would argue, much cooler art. You got the other three Lightning Bolts, so this comes with a playset of foil Lightning Bolts. You got a Fire Servant. Keldon Champion. So this is a 3-2 haste echo when it enters the battlefield deals 3 damage to target, target player. Bogart Ramgan, so it's a Ramgang. It's a 3-3 three, three haste wither. Bullshock Sorcerer, so it's a 1-1 one, one that taps to pink stuff, has haste. We've got a Cinder Pyromancer, so it's a 3 mana 0-1 that pings stuff, but when you play a red spell you untap him. We've got, oddly enough, Two Mog Flunkies. Two Keldon Marauders, which is, again, another cube, cube staple. Same with Hellspark Elemental. And Figure of Destiny. We've also got two Spark Elementals. And then we've got another Mog Fanatic and a Jackal Pop. Hopefully all the foil... It looks like the foils were showing up just fine. You could see how shiny it was. Um, so not bad for, for a, a pre-release seal. I kind of want to do another one to see. Um, it was either going to be this or the Audric um, theme deck or the Yeva theme deck that I was going to pick. I wasn't going to take two packs because everything on the table was, was better. So thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the three videos that are up tonight, and I'll see if I can post three more tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.